So my name is Kevin Anderson, and I'm the Software and System Supervisor here at Cobham SATCOM, and we work on uh, maritime stabilized antennas for the CTEL product line. In the last few years, we've been focused on bringing a new uh, system architecture, which we called IMA, uh, standing for Integrated Maritime Antenna. And with this new software architecture, um, we, we've been rolling it out to the existing product lines and also using it as a backbone to develop new and innovative products. First of all, I hope that a lot of people won't notice the difference between IMA and the old system. We support all the same uh, previous commands. Um, existing tools that were, you were using with our uh, previous software are also going to work with the IMA product line. Uh, the real benefits of IMA is the new architecture, which uses the same software above decks and below decks. So the same software is used to control the antenna on top of the mast, as well as running uh, your interface and connections down below. Um, that's going to be one of the things that you're going to notice. Um, the other one is we've improved uh, the firmware and it's now a single load of software instead of multiple pieces of software on different devices. So it means that we can roll out updates by sending our customers a single piece of software and they're going to be able to use that and install it on their system. The system's going to automatically take that software and apply it to all the different devices and components that are, uh, make up our product. With the new IMA architecture, we have increased flexibility and a larger software development team that's really going to be responsive to our customers' needs. They're going to be able to more easily get features added into our product line, and we're going to be able to support them and test them more easily. The strongest feature of IMA is really our increased um, processor speed. It means we can do a lot more. We've, we've upgraded uh, the processor, we've upgraded the memory, we've upgraded the file system. So we've really, we've really taken a step into the 21st century and really brought uh, all the modern computing that you would expect from a quality product um, onto, the antenna, onto our antenna systems as well. In general, I would say our um, reliability and service has still maintained an exceptionally high level. IMA is going to allow us, and this software platform is going to allow us to continue that high level moving into the future. You know, some of the added features that we've been able to do with IMA that the customer may notice, um, we've been able to improve the initialization time, we've been able to improve uh, the stability accuracy on many of our products, uh, we've been able to make a more fluid motion, so if you take the dome off your antenna and you watch it move around, you're going to see it move around a little bit easier. Uh, we've been able to support more different modem types with different protocols. Uh, the list goes on. <laughs> the real advantage of the CTEL product uh, when it comes to rough environments is the mechanical nature of the of the system. So a lot of the survivability and just the quality in the system comes from the good manufacturing that we have and also the uh, very excellent mechanical design of our products. The software is just another complement to that. We've got such great quality in these other areas. We wanted to make sure that the software was ready to go forward with all these um, and be just as top-notch as the rest of the product. IMA has definitely made customization more cost effective. We can now more accurately prove that we've met the requirements of our customers uh, and we can, we have a, a stronger, more robust software team that's going to be able to get in there and tackle the problem uh, in a, you know, modern software development environment. So in the future, I think we're going to go back and just make sure that um, the whole system becomes more easy to test and we're going to make it so that we can improve some of the um, quality control that we already have. We just want to make it easier and when we do that, we're going to be able to add even more features and expand into more product lines. 